Hey everyone, so here's a quick travel video about me flying in from San Francisco to New York during COVID-19. I hope this video gives you a better idea of how the airports are during these times. You know, like how the crowds are, how is social distancing being enforced, for example. Any travel requirements, you know, are you going to get blocked in certain airports? So yeah, hopefully you find some value in this quick video. This was shot around early February 2021 and it's around like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much catching a red eye. Oh, and by the way, San Francisco, you have an amazing city. But your weather, however, is fucking garbage. It was just raining all day when I was there. And the jacket that I was wearing in this video was still wet. And I'm flying into New York. Pretty much in, in the middle of winter too. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Lately, I've been traveling light so I don't have to check in any luggage and that kind of spares me from the hassle of going through the whole check-in line at the terminal. However, what I did notice was that there are still lines at the check-in counters. So, you know, just come in early as you normally would because I've seen some of the lines, especially in JFK, that were long. I also have a service called Clear, so it gets me through the security lines much faster and that's helped a lot, especially with social distancing because I don't have to like wait in line with like a huge crowd or whatever. There were a couple of food kiosks that were open. So yeah, if you wanted to grab a coffee or like a sandwich or something just to eat, especially for guys like me traveling pretty much transcontinental, there are a few spots that are open at this time of the day, but you know, it's airport food. So you're, you're gonna pay a lot of money. Yeah, like this one spot that I checked out, I think it was called Burger Joint. They wanted $6 for a bagel. A fucking bagel for six dollars. Like, what the hell, man?
I've been flying Delta a lot and yeah so this is how their first class called Delta One looks like. This is me sanitizing uh, my seat with the wipes that they will hand to you once you board the plane. And it just so happens that the weather will be absolutely beautiful on the day that I'm flying out. Thanks, San Francisco. So this is around 3 p.m. Eastern and this is typically light traffic I guess because I've landed here you know like a few weeks ago and there were way more people um, around like the same time so yeah so your, your experience may vary. As of the time that I'm filming this video New York State still requires you to fill up a travel form so yeah um, you'll see that towards the end of the video as I pretty much exit the airport that's where they stop me but I've been on some flights where you know you have the National Guard stopping people right outside the the gate That lady in front of me is my girlfriend, so I really don't have to social distance. So yeah, in case you're wondering why I'm, I'm so close to her. As a side note, I've tested negative, even though I've traveled a lot during the pandemic. So yeah, I, I mean, you know, just, just follow the rules, wear a mask, you know, don't be stupid, social distance. And yeah, like I, at least for me, I, I was lucky and I've been okay.
All right, so this is the part where the health workers basically give you the form that you need to fill up. So it's double-sided. I mean, pretty straightforward questions, nothing crazy. I would suggest that you keep your flight number and your seat number handy because you have to write that down. Like this lady right here, she actually checked my form to see if I have everything uh, listed correctly. Yeah, so it's, it's nothing really serious. Like they don't check your temperature or anything or they don't require... Um, a negative COVID test entering into New York, but they do recommend like you, you go into quarantine once you're in New York. How they're enforcing that, I, I'm not sure because I, I don't live in New York. I live in a bordering state, so I'm kind of exempt from it. I also wanted to point out that, you know, no one's going to really enforce social distancing and it's really up to you just to, you know, distance yourself from people. Like here, it, it's a bottleneck. Some people don't uh, social distance. I try to maintain my distance from people. But yeah, just so you guys know. And yeah, so that's it. So here I am in cold ass New York City. So I hope you guys, you know, found this whole video useful. And yeah, yeah, please like and subscribe if you so desire. Thank you so much, guys.